Guess who's back in blonder than ever? Definitely this girl. And it was time for a change for sure. I hope you guys are having a great week so far and welcome back to another Millennium video. In this video, I wanted to talk about hits and misses from the month of March. I have way more hits than misses, but that is also something I really wanted to talk to you guys about. So usually you will find me really liking a product and it's very rare that I don't like a product and that is not because I'm just being nice or because I want to look good with a specific brand or anything like that. Obviously I'm not sponsored so I'm not trying to look good in front of anybody and even if I was sponsored obviously I'd rather have you guys as trust um, and I'd rather tell you guys exactly how I feel if I like a product or not. I am new to this. I am not rich, I do not have a lot of money, and what I have been doing is just buying things that I have been hearing really good reviews on, and then I like to show it to you and show you what I'm really liking. The times that I don't like something, it's because either it's not really reacting well with my skin, or it's just not something that I personally like, because everybody's different. So I just wanted to let you guys know that, just so, just in case you guys were like, why does she like everything? Because that is not always the case. There has been times that you guys have asked me to review something and I've had the extra cash and I've been able to go out and actually purchase it. But obviously that doesn't happen all the time because I'm not falling. So if you guys are ready to see the month of March's misses and hits, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with things that I really really like this month and that I just couldn't set down and this one definitely wins it all. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Obviously it's an oldie to everybody else except for me but I was able to finally purchase this on my birthday and I definitely do not regret it. I love this and I don't know if it's because of the shades or the smell. I'm guessing it's the smell. It just attracts me like I just can't let go because of the smell. Of course, the shades are also beautiful. There's so much to choose from. So many eye looks you can create with this. Really pretty shimmer shades like this one is my total favorite. This is Luscious. This one is Luscious and it's stunning. I think it's my favorite shimmer in this palette. But I really like that there's browns so you can do something neutral. And then there's also pops of colors in between. Even if I'm not using it and it's just sitting next to me, I can definitely smell it and I, I'm i obsessed. That's the word. Another thing that I just have been loving this month is the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation. This really does minimize my pores. My face looks so smooth. It is supposed to be matte and you know I have super dry skin. This does not feel super matte on my skin, which is amazing. It just feels like a satiny finish, and I just can't put this down. Today I'm actually not wearing this one, but this one's definitely a drugstore winner for me. All right, and then, like you guys know, the Anastasia Amorese highlight is definitely winning. I try to wear other highlights, especially when I'm recording. I try to put on different highlights so I don't bore you guys. But when I'm not, this is what I'm wearing 99% of the time. All right, and then now a different highlight. This one is an all over the face highlight. I'm not sure if you can see this on camera, but it's a very, very finely milled shimmer. This is the Milani Loose Powder in Radiant 04. It is a setting powder, so I put it on all over my face if I'm using a very matte foundation. Even sometimes when I wear the LA Girl, which is not completely matte, I will dust some of this all over my skin and it just makes, it just gives it a very radiant look. It's not too much and it's not like you have glitter all over your face. It's very, very finely milled and nice and shimmery. Gives you like a shine from within look and I'm just loving this. I got this a few weeks ago at TJ Maxx and I did a video all about that. Um, I just love this. I find myself going towards this so much just because there's so many blushes that I can choose from. And, and I'm actually wearing this one. This is Terrace. 
And then to finish off with the good products, um, I have two sprays here. I have one that's Mario Badescu. I took advantage of the Ulta sell that's going on and I got this guy for like $9. I think normally this is $12 or $13. This is not my first time I tried the Mario Badescu sprays. These sprays can never go wrong. And this one's in lavender and it just feels amazing and just so relaxing. And I just spray it on, spray it on after my shower, before I go to bed. It's just so relaxing. I just love it. This one is the Aloe Chamomile and Lavender. It just smells so good. Obviously I just got it, so I have not used much, but it's good stuff. Finally, we have the Essence Keep It Perfect Spray. This is something that I heard from Kathleen Lights. Totally made me want to buy this because she said this is super, super dewy spray. It's only like $4.99 and if your makeup is looking just super dry and matte and you're totally not taking that, just spray this on your face. Not, even, not too much because this stuff makes you dewy. The only other one I could really think of to compare to this would be like the Tatcha Luminous Mist, but this is $4.99 guys. So if you're really on a hunt for a spray that will make you dewy, then this is it guys. All right, and now let's hit on to the dislikes. of. The so like I said, I'm not sponsored, but I do have Influencer, and Influencer sometimes sends me free products. This month they sent me the Giorgio Armani Face Fabric Foundation, and I was so excited because I mean, and then I tried this on. Not so excited. Let's start off by saying this stuff is super duper smooth. Like, you probably can't see this on camera, so there's like no point to show you. You can't even see the lines on my hand anymore because it just filled in all the lines and made it so nice and smooth. That's, that's the only good thing. It has zero coverage. This thing retails for 45 or 48 dollars and there's no coverage. This is like a primer basically. So if you're somebody that's looking for something that's not going to give them any coverage whatsoever, just needs to reduce fine lines and fill in some pores, then this guy would work out for you. And now moving on to the thing that made me the most upset this entire month. Can't get over it. My face won't let me get over it. That is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I have heard so many people rave about this, how this is one of the best drugstore concealers, and maybe it is. Maybe it is for everybody else but me. This guy burnt the crap out of my under eye. And maybe it's my fault. Because the first time that I tried it on, I felt tingling and I was like, maybe it's just you. Maybe it's just a bad day. Just try it on again. So I did it again. Burnt again. Well, now I can't set my under eyes because it breaks apart. It's peeling underneath my eyes. Then the worst part is that I stopped using it for under my eyes. I said, this is burning my under eye. So maybe it's just because my under eyes are sensitive and, and I should just stop using this under my eye. But I've already spent six or seven dollars for this and I don't want it to go to waste. So just use it to fix your eyebrows and stuff like that. So I did that and guess what? I started peeling all in this area. So every time I would do my eyeshadow, it would look horrible because I was peeling underneath my eyebrow. So. If this is working for you guys, I am so happy because for me, it was a no-go. So I'm just letting you guys know that if you are going to try this, be careful and if you feel tingling, just completely stop and just toss it and move on. That guys was everything for my hits and misses. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys found some products that you would like to purchase as well. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Bye.